this particular table will guide you that where you have to focus upon. So we'll quickly have a recap of this table. One to six hours, I just told you Star Forest, Bacillus series. Which one? Ematic one. Okay. What are the features uh, associated with these food poisonings? Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Both of them. Okay. And after eating up, what immediately happens? Uh, in the case of Star Forest, it is ham, poultry products, potato, egg salad, mayonnaise, pastries. This associates with what? Staph aureus. Okay. And the fried rice or Chinese fried rice, reheated Chinese fried rice associates with what? Bacillus cereus hematic one. Okay. So this is regarding the 1 to 6 hours. Now coming to the 8 to 16 hour stuff. Okay. Now coming to this 8 to 16 hour stuff. 8 to 16 hour stuff is Clostridium perfringens, which is also termed as Welchi. Bacillus cereus diarrheal one that is uh, present. The Bacillus cereus diarrheal one or Clostridium perfringens. That is the Welchi. They associates with abdominal cramps, diarrhea, abdominal cramps, diarrhea. So this is diarrheal strength, all the diarrhea will happen. Vomiting can also happen, but this is rare. So this is 8 to 16 hours. And uh, what after eating up? The beef, poultry products, legumes, gravies, it is for the clostridium perfringens. And for the bacillus diarrheal one, it is meat, vegetables, dried beans and cereals. So this is regarding 8 to 16. So these two organisms should come into your mind immediately for 8 to 16 hours. More than 16 hours is a big list. Time is also big. List is also big. Vibrio cholerae, fine. Associates with what? Watery diarrhea. Enterotoxigenic E. coli, traveler's diarrhea, the T for T. So it is also sort of what? Watery diarrhea. Enterohemorrhagic, that is bloody diarrhea or dysentery you can cause. Fine. So this is uh, enterohemorrhagic and the special zero group is what? That is the O157H7. Okay, associates with the, this particular bloody diarrhea and all. Salmonella species, that is inflammatory diarrhea. Compilobacter jujuni, inflammatory diarrhea. What is the meaning of inflammatory diarrhea? Inflammatory diarrhea means here that fecal leukocytes are present in this particular one. Okay, fecal leukocytes and because of the inflammation that leukocytes are coming off. Fine. Then Shigella also associates with inflammatory diarrhea only. And you know the Shigella is one of the common causes of dysentery. Fine. So basically, diarrhea happens before and after that the centric episodes. They happen. Vibrio parahemolyticus, which is a halophilic vibrio, this also associates with dysentery. Okay, guys. So vibrio cholerae, obviously, the, if somebody asks you that uh, what is the list regarding them, so it associates with eating of what? Selfish and like contaminated water. If you ingest up, then can land up with this uh, vibrio cholerae uh, problem. That is the cholera. Enterotoxinic E. coli, that is the salads, cheese, meat, water, obviously contaminated water and all, that is enterotoxinic one. Enterohemorrhagic one is ground beef, salami, raw milk, they associate with this particular one, okay. And regarding the salmonella, you know, it associates with the contaminated beef, poultry products, eggs, dairy products. If this particular thing comes in the history, then you obviously along with the features of salmonella, they will give in the question. So you can come to the salmonella species also. Regarding the Compilovector jujuni, it is inflammatory diarrhea that is associated with poultry products and raw milk. And Shigella, that is, it can be with the potato or egg salad, lettuce or these particular raw vegetables. And Vibrio parahemolyticus, as you know, that this is the halophilic one. So it associates with what? Mollusk and crustaceans. Okay. So this is the list, guys, which you need to focus upon that uh, what is 1 to 6, what is 8 to 16 and what is more than 16 hours. So if you know this particular list, all questions of this sort is easy for you. Okay. Now, besides 